Alrighty, just bringing out my Oberdorf Mauser today to do a little bit of shooting at the range. A couple other people here, fortunately, uh, just before deer season in Pennsylvania. This is an Oberdorf from the 1920s. It is in 30 out 6. Uh, it has been sporterized, as you can see here on the side with the bolt handle, which makes the rifle worth a lot less. Uh, I bought it for probably about $500 after I ended up selling the scope that it came with. So it was a very good deal to actually get an original German Obendor Sporting Mauser. Uh, also has a uh, butt pad on it here. Uh, found out it's actually from the 1930s. So um, it actually is damaged here on the top, but it still is effective. And I'm going to leave it on the rifle for a while here um, until I decide to do something else with it. Like I said, it's really not worth much as a sporter or as a collectible, more just as a uh, rifle for shooting. I have some Lake City brass here reloaded with uh, Sierra 150 grain uh, tips on it uh, using IMR uh, 46 uh, powder, uh, which I use for a lot of my other uh, metric calibers. It's just a nice uh, overall um, uh, do-it-all kind of powder for a uh, mid-range uh, cartridge like a 30-06 or an 8x57 or a 7x57. Uh, rifle takes uh, five rounds, a standard for a military or a commercial Oberndorf Mauser. I uh, have a uh, Zeiss uh, Conquest scope on it that I bought a little while ago. Uh, nice. Uh, I'll bring her out here and just check to zero before uh, hunting season in case I decide to use this rifle for, uh, for trying to get some white tails here. So anyways, let's see. I think I just have it on four power and we'll just see how we do. A double stage trigger. Nice let off. Zeiss is nice and clear, so I can already see where I hit there. Like I said, the recoil pad does do a very good job. black. I'm not really shooting very much for groups right now. More talking than anything. Ooh, and I pulled that one real well far off to the right. So anyways, that's the Obendorf. A uh, nice little rifle to have. It's been very reliable. Uh, like I said, because it's been sporterized, it has the uh, different sights on it. Uh, they took off the nice Oberndorf uh, um, ladder sight and put on some fold-down sights so they could fit a scope. So anyways, that's the Oberndorf Mauser. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe. And out.